Okay, so in this video, uh, we're doing another CAD tutorial. Um, I'm gonna try to get you guys to man manufacture a, a design drawing of this um, mug, okay? We're not, we're not gonna add the graphics on. Obviously, that, that we could do uh, by wrapping these or texture mapping it. Uh, we're not gonna focus on that. What we are focusing on is, is kind of construction of this uh, product so we understand some uh, Autodesk Inventor tools. Um, what you should end up with at the end of this um, tutorial is a mug a little bit like this where you can see we've got the handle and the uh, the shape there even the indentation at the bottom of the um, uh, the product there so we're going to go through a range of skills uh, but first of all we're going to have a go at uh, starting off by designing uh, the mug so if I just go back a little bit to where we started with this what we basically done in the first stage is we're going to do uh, a revolve so using the revolve tool this is a bit like using a lathe and it's revolving a profile I'll just kind of show you what the profile kind of looks like there so this is the starting point we've got just a uh, half of the actual uh, mug so we're kind of drawing uh, if we look at it I'll just hold this over here we're looking at kind of half of the product kind of this half here and then obviously we revolve it around this central axis here so it's just a case of constructing this profile and then we can do the revolve so I'm going to start a new um, new sketch so when we're doing this as I said before um, always create a list from the list of templates when you're doing a new um, part file and I'm going to choose metric uh, and use the standard millimeter IPT uh, file like this to make sure I'm working in millimeters not in inches or something like that okay so the first thing I'd suggest we do with this is get the overall kind of dimensions of the mug you can see it's 40 millimeters because it's 80 in diameter so 80 across the top of the mug like uh, from one one side to the other like that okay and it's uh, all the way down to the bottom um, is 90 millimeters there from top to bottom okay so what I might start by doing I'm going to start my 2d sketch this time I'm going to work on this plane the YZ plane there and what I'm going to do is draw just a construction of a rectangle that's got those overall dimensions so I'm going to make it 90 millimeters in height by 40 millimeters in width okay if I click the view cube in the middle there it's going to zoom out so I can see the actual overall dimensions uh, of the product like that okay now the next thing I'm going to do is start putting some uh, points on in terms of where things are going to occur so I'm going to have one point down here 50 millimeters from the top of the line and obviously a line coming across the top so I'm going to squ switch to a solid line by turning off the construction point there and do one solid line going across like this that's going to be the first feature of the revolve there and one line going down along this um, construction line there and we're going to make it 50 millimeters that's going to give me a point there where I'm going to create this uh, curve later on okay now going back to the sketch again we're going to zoom in a little bit so we can see kind of what's going on near the bottom of the sketch now you can see this bit it comes up by three millimeters okay this is the um, indentation there at the bottom of the mug so it just raises up and goes into the mug a little bit there. So we're going to create this little indentation and use this curve. You can see that's got a height of three millimeters and a radius there of 18.5 millimeters. Now what I'm going to do is zoom into that section there and just replicate this across, but using construction lines at first. So I'm using the construction line again, going from the bottom there, and we're just going to go up three millimeters, and then we're going to do two 18 and a half millimeter lines coming out from either side of this okay what this is going to allow us to do is create an interpolation spline that's going to give us that curved uh, image so I'll just produce one from one side and one from the other 18.5 millimeters like that and that gives me some construction points to work from so I'm now going to swap to uh, this um, interpolation spline like this okay through three points and I'm going to turn off the construction line there so I can do this as a solid line so there's my starting point 18.5 millimeters is going through a center point three millimeters up and then finishing over here again on that point so I'm looking for the icon to change so I know I'm on the actual control point there now when I'm finished I can click the little tick button or I can press enter okay and that creates the line now obviously because this is a revolution or sorry a revolve going around that center point I don't need this other part of the uh, line I was just producing that so I can get this nice curve finishing off in that center point there so I can use the trim tool and just click on the line here or just cut through it like that and then that will get rid of it so we can either uh, cut through it like that or just click the line to trim it off so what I've now got is two points that I need to connect up okay now going back to my mug what I basically done with this is I noticed that the bottom section of the mug 
So this kind of section here is a fairly regular arc of about 20 millimeters in radius. And then it kind of joins up with the flat section with a very gradual curve like this. So we're going to do this in a couple of stages. But the first thing I'm going to do is plot out those, those that 20 mil arc. So I'm going to go back to my line tool and do some more um, construction points. So I'm selecting the construct construction point tool at the, the top there. And then going from this point, I'm going up 20 millimeters. So I'm checking it's at 90 degrees and just going up. 20 millimeters like this and then going across like this sorry that was zero degrees but 90 millimeters uh, 90 degrees from the base and then going across here at 20 millimeters but again checking that this time it does say 90 degrees there and again it's going to give me those two points we've got one there we've got one there and obviously we've got our point up the top here now what we're going to do is use the the line tool itself to create these curves transitioning between these sections. So I'm going to select the line tool and do something a little bit different this time. Now normally when I click a line, I click a line like this and then it creates a straight line. Okay. What we don't want to do is a straight line, we want a curve. So what we do with this is we click and hold for just a small uh, second or so and then as we're dragging you can see it turns it into this lovely curved line which can kind of connect to other control points. So I'm just going to check it on that control point there and it creates that, that second curve. Okay, so I'm just coming out again. So we can see that curve is transitioning between there and there. Now I'm going to do the same here. There's, there's a few ways that you could do this. You could use an arc if you wish. So we could get an arc going for a center point. So we choose the center point like this and we choose a start point for the arc and an end point to the arc like that. Okay, which uh, usually uh, for some reason causes me a few problems when I do this. Sometimes I have to do this a couple of times um, like this, but there we go. It creates an arc like that. Okay. Alternatively, as I was saying before, we can use that line tool and do it like this as well. So we can make sure we've got our start point there, click and hold for half a second, and then just drag it round to the second control point like that. Okay. I personally like this way of doing things better. I think it gives a slightly smoother uh, curve. But effectively, there we go. We've created the first kind of um, profile that we're going to create our revolve around.